Hey guys, welcome to Code and Box Automation Lab. This is Shortful. Uh, today we are going to learn and see how we can automate slider, horizontal slider. Example, um, if you see this page, there is a slider here, right? So this is a horizontal slider. So uh, at some point during our testing, you know, we may face this kind of scenario that we have to slide our slider okay we have to scroll our slide slider horizontal slider okay like this so how can we do this in in selenium automation okay this is our uh, test today okay so let's minimize this so I create a class in Eclipse I create a class called the slider test and uh, this is a regular things like you know we have to uh, use the set properties method to uh, declare the driver key as well as uh, the, the where is the driver is uh, you know in our machine then uh, web driver interface and the chrome driver interface relationship between uh, following you know uh, parent and child uh, relationship and then uh, I use the, the mix mix maximize uh, method to maximize the window and this is the URL okay to launch the page so the first thing we have to do let's see again this page okay. let's uh, spy this uh, you know the, this button that's a slider this this one so this is our object spy okay this is okay span and then there's a class it's a long class definitely it's not a good uh, you know attribute to use and uh, <coughs> how about you know since this is the 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 span tag it's a ch it's a child of this div right you can see so I use this uh, ID this slider you know so traverse from parents to child okay how about uh, like this okay let's let's uh, put it here yes it's already you can see they already okay uh, I will go for for slash okay and then I'm gonna uh, you know uh, typing or creating xpath okay at the red what is the ID for the parents ID it's slider slider uh, there will be a single quotation okay and then you can see and then uh, okay yes you can see uh, this is the you know uh, uh, the X path and it's already selected this slide so we can easily use this ID so okay but here's okay head body okay we can easily use this okay, let's put this one in a notepad okay so I'm putting this uh, you know ID in a notepad so that I can use it let's get back to there so here one more thing uh, that we have to notice okay I just noticed that uh, if you see uh, a little bit in down in the code there is a iframe it is close okay and if you if you hover your mouse to the iframe attack the closing it's reflect the whole box and the slider inside the box so it means you know you can see the iframe is here so again if you select this uh, so uh, 
it looks like this uh, slider inside the frame okay so what do we have to do we have to find out you know so how many frame if it's a one then we have to pass the frame uh, index number and then you know then we can spy that uh, that slider button and then we can move on okay so since it's a iframe uh, since it's an iframe we're going to you know use the fr first we have to uh, you know switch our driver to the frame okay tell our driver okay driver move to uh, move to a frame uh, frame number you know, based on the index so we'll see the how many frame we have first okay so we'll see driver dot find elements driver dot find element elements by the tag name since it's a we're finding uh, the frame so we always use the tag name okay so uh, because it's a frame it's always started with the i frame tag name right so it's i frame and then we'll find that use the size method to see how many frame we do have in this page okay then let's print out let's print out and see how many frame we do have in this page okay good and then you know we'll we'll, we'll use the uh, frame index you know to find uh, to get inside the frame uh, a specific frame and do our job okay let's print it okay run it java application okay it's uh looks like it's a popped uh, popped up the page it's a little bit slow okay pretty good yeah let's close it see the console okay there's a one just the result is one so it means there's a one frame okay so what we can do we can say driver switch to frame and we'll pass the index which is zero which just means it's a one no the first one okay we'll say driver dot uh, switch to driver dot switch to dot frame okay frame we can use the wave element too that's another option but we'll see how to use the wave element in another example okay just for today we're going to use okay argument is zero so since we got a only one frame the uh, we saw this result is one so it means it's it started the frame is follows the indexing number so it started with the zero zero it means the first one okay okay so now we we switch our driver to the frame and now we are going to uh, we're going to uh, you know say now we are going to you know I uh, spy that uh, that uh, uh, little box for the uh, you know slider and we'll move to we'll probably un up until middle okay so what you can do uh, so we are we have we're going to say let's say driver dot find the element and we have a x path of that slider by dot x path uh, okay we have x path and what's the x path let me copy from my notepad xpath right right so we have the xpath and so what we can do let's put this one let's let's put this a whole this locator in a variable it's called slider and then put in a and it's a real what would be the return type what would be return wait uh, element oh, sorry wave, uh, wave element right so return type is wave element let's hover our mouse import the package for the wave element okay so now we're going to use okay so to 
what what's really happen when you slide it when you slide any slider okay you hold it it means you know you click and hold through our mouse right we click and hold through our mouse and then we move it okay so exactly the same thing we can do uh, through our actions class an action class uh, probably you know this action class uh, use uh, uh, it has a lot of method that's used to do some activities through keyboard and mouse so it has a one uh, method is called click and hold so we can use exactly click and hold method uh, to hold the you know and then we can pass the object what object we're going to you know click and hold and then we can use another method called move by offset okay let's see how can we how can we do this let's first we're going to create an object of the action class so to create an object of the action class key new actions right and then puts in a variable so what would be the variable let's uh, read a variable ret and return type actions right and we have to pass who's gonna do this uh, you know the action class always expect uh, a, a argument inside so who's gonna do the job driver driver right so let's hover our mouse import the action class package okay pretty good now if you if you use the a which is our variable of action class object reference a dot let's see uh, there is a click and hold a click and hold you can see click and hold and there is this one click and hold and a wave element target okay click and hold will select this one and target what's our target our targeted element is this slider variable right so we'll pass the argument or the wave element is slider so we'll click and hold and this this uh, what we're going to click and hold we're clicking hold this element right and then what do we want to do we want to move okay move there is a method is called move offset move element target okay we can use this move offset because we don't have the another element like where we're going to move we're move you know uh, on a horizontal so some x-axis and y-axis values we can pass move offset move by offset this is you know x um, offset and y offset it means you know it's a in X we have to pass the X axis values and Y axis values like how far we would like to move so we can say uh, the X axis just you know probably 150 and then the Y axis would be 200 this is probably it's a probably it's a middle you know close to the middle uh, of this you know bar probably here okay I mean anywhere you can you can adjust this value um we just want to see this it's moving okay and then and after that we we would we have to use build method build dot perform right perform right okay pretty much that's it and then we can use driver dot close driver dot close right okay let's see you know let's put a comment on driver door close so that I can, we can see it okay pretty good let's uh, run it run job application okay page launch maximize looks good here we go you can see it a slider automatically moved from here to here okay looks good awesome okay and then you can use driver dot close okay so that's it for uh, for today you know so this is very simple uh, simple code uh, very simply we can you know uh, use the action class to uh, slide a horizontal slider okay that's it for today I uh, hope you enjoy the video and stay tuned don't forget to click on subscribe button so that you be uh, notified when you upload the next video and you have a
good one.